This is indeed a very sad day, sad time period for the Jewish community in Krakow. I'm a rabbi, rabbinic representative of the chief rabbi of Poland. I work together with Rabbi Gurari, the Chabad Shaliach. We represent the Jewish community of Krakow. We have been coming here every day to pray. We have built up a Jewish community. We have been teaching Torah. We have been uh, helping uh, communities, the community grow. We've been spending every Shabbat here. And for some reason, the president of the community decided, official Jewish community decided to lock the doors, to let, not let us in, to not let us attain, re reach our prayer shawls and our Sifri Torah and our tefillin, to leave them inside. We came one day and all of a sudden there were masked armed guards that were preventing us from entering the synagogue. This is an embarrassment, this is a travesty, and it just shows that as much as we try to be together as a Jewish community, there are still forces that are trying to tear us apart. And those forces must be overcome. And we as a Jewish community are expecting the world, the Jewish world and the entire world over to re realize that in Krakow, there's no room, there's no acceptance of anyone shutting Jews off from their um, ability to pray in a synagogue. And if it, 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 it unfortunately happens to be a Jewish leader who's doing this, not the non-Jewish Poles, they have been very supportive of Jewish life through uh, in, in Krakow and in Poland. And yet we are str we try to keep this quiet, but unfortunately the time has come when we're locked out of our own synagogue that we have to point the finger and say the Jewish community, the Jewish Gemina in Krakow, there's a problem here and we are not being heard, we, are not, we have no voice and we need to do something to fix this problem. We, uh, of course, the, the official Jewish community put up a fake uh, building site sign and a fake uh, um, uh, uh, pretense that there's a, con a construction going on here. There's no construction. This, this building is from 1638. The building is very structured. It's very sound. We've been praying in, in this building for years and years. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, have you ever seen a construction site when masked armed men are protecting it and, and preventing us from entering the site. This is a, a true embarrassment and we need to do something to, to stop that. The truth of the reality is that the reason that they're uh, locking us out is because they decided to hire, to, to rent uh, the part of the premises to someone else who's going to pay more money and it's going to be an internal Jewish uh, problem that's taking place which we didn't want to bring to the public but what do we do when we don't we don't have access to our own synagogue mm -hmm. we are going to be here prayer services morning and afternoon and evening until we get this issue resolved Welcome rabbi gurari and i and the entire Woo! jewish community will not stop Woo! until we are able to enter our synagogue once again and pray like we always do Tomorrow we're protesting at 6.30 p.m. We're going to start from here and we are going to protest and walk to the Jewish community and demand that they all open the doors and let us back in to the Jewish community.